Hello, I'm Rob Duckett, and here with me celebrating 40 years of art and art history at Park West is award-winning Olympic artist Hua Chen. Thanks for joining us, Hua. Translating for Hua today is his lovely wife, Maggie Chen. Thanks for being here, Maggie. Sure, it's our pleasure to be here. So, Hua, tell me, how does it feel when you hear Olympic artist when your name is announced? It's very exciting. <laughs> I bet it is, I bet it is. And it's an honor, right? Yeah, it's an honor, yeah. How did it come about? How did this dream happen? I mean, I know that you, were, you grew up in Shanghai, and then, uh, but then you studied in Beijing. To actually be the Olympic artist for the Olympics in Beijing, where you studied, that must be extremely special to you. It's very honor and very exciting to him because, first of all, he's Chinese. This year, the Olympic Games was held in China and in Beijing the city where she, uh, he attended his school for four years over there. So it's really a meaningful moment. And also, there's like one-fourth of a population in China represent the whole population in the whole world. It's a big event and it's a big thing happened over there. It's really meaningful to him as a Chinese, as an artist. Well, Beijing is where you got your master's degree in, it was, it was, it was sketching, watercolor, and oil painting. But you actually grew up in Shanghai. I mean, I know Shanghai has a, a long history of, of a background in, in art. Did you find that influenced you as you grew up? Yes, absolutely. Especially his father is a very famous artist in 19, since 1930s. So he got a lot of influence through his father and his father's work. And over the years, you've won many awards yourself. In the 1980s, particularly, I see. I was, I was reading that you won quite quite a few awards in uh, in China itself. Before the well, obviously the Olympics are coming up soon. But before then, you you went to LA to the the training camp to to study the Olympic uh, the Olympic athletes to for your study materials. And why did you choose gymnasts? Because you had quite you had freedom of what you wanted to choose in the Olympics. Why did you choose gymnastics to be your study? He think gymnastic it's a mixing of strength and uh, agility of uh, um, agility of a style with a style and a grace. That's exactly the style he's painting over there. So this matches his painting style. Other than that, when the performance you can see it requires the body balance and it requires the combination of a coordination, speed, and balance, relaxes, and strength. That's exactly reflect the Olympic spirit, which if everybody can keep their life balance, be coordination, and the whole world will have more peaceful, can un mutual understand better. And that's exactly what Olympic spirit and, and this is exactly this is Olympic dreams. This yeah. is the work you chose, isn't yeah. it? This, this is what you created for uh, yeah. for the Olympics. And I, I'm glad we're really glad you did because I think Olympic dreams is truly beautiful. So Hua, tell me, where does the image begin? Does it begin in your head, on the canvas, with the foreground, with the background, with your figurative style in the center? Where do you begin? Well, he started painting the background first, then. Before he paint this painting, he take take a lot of pictures. So he choose the picture he think the best, he like the best. Then after he finished the background, he started painting the figure. But before he doing that, he did a lot of a sketch. So with the with the sketches and this combined, how long would it take you to create this work of art? About ha about one month. About a month, at least a month. Wow. So. Not only in the Olympics, is, uh, I know you obviously studied the Olympics in order and the athletes in order to create this masterpiece, but I know in your other works of art that you use ballerinas typically as a star. Two questions, why the figurative form and why ballet? Because ballet, it's very graceful, it's very beautiful. When see the dancer play over there, it's really created some phenomena, make him feel it's very warm, it's very cozy and it's very graceful. So that's his one of the favorite subject in his painting. And do you draw for the Impressionists? I see that your, your figurines, are, figurative art is very, very Impressionist. Which, where do you draw most of your inspiration from? Impressionist to him is something you can feel more than you can see, see it more because it's kind of, you can imagine when you see the painting, it's a combination of uh, from real and imagination to him. And other than that, and he got the most influence from the Degas. 
Um, that's it's a favorite favorite artist. Yeah, I do see yes. that. I do see a lot of Degar influence in your works. Well, Hua, we are so happy that you could spend time with us at Part West, and we look forward to you visiting with with new works in the very near future. Thank you.